Hi everyone, I'm Adele, a program manager on the Windows AI platform team at Microsoft. Today, I'll be showing you how to use DirectML as a hardware accelerated backend for AI training compatible with TensorFlow and PyTorch on Windows and the Windows subsystem for Linux, WSL2. By the end of the video, you'll have an overview of the advantages of DirectML for AI training and know how to get started training your own models. I'll also touch on how you can use DirectML to accelerate the inferencing of those models on any Windows device. I'll be sharing a lot of resources throughout the video so that you can follow along and stay connected with the DirectML team. So all of the resources I mention are linked in the video description below. So first, let's get started with an overview of DirectML. DirectML sits within a tightly integrated stack of technologies built into Windows we call the Windows AI platform. Each layer has a specific purpose and together they give you the combined promise of high performance and ease of use with large scale hardware reach. The Windows AI platform aims to make the job of training and inferencing an AI model in Windows applications a lot easier. We do that by providing one platform that works across the breadth of Windows devices. There's a lot of burden and cost associated with using hardware-specific libraries, multiple inference libraries, etc. So the Windows AI platform is here to mitigate that burden. This diagram shows the entry points into DirectML for both training and inferencing scenarios. For now, we'll be focusing on the TensorFlow and PyTorch entry points for training scenarios. And then later, I'll talk more about Windows ML and the Onyx runtime for inferencing scenarios. DirectML specifically makes hardware acceleration possible on any D3D12 GPU. It is a low-level API that uses DirectX commands to provide an operator-level control of scheduling and managing the lifetime of your resources and memory allocations. DirectML depends on the compute driver model, which is the common abstraction layer to provide consistent and reliable execution across all of our different hardware devices and vendors. Consistent execution across all devices and vendors is important because there are a lot of different GPUs and hardware configurations supported by Windows. With the Windows AI platform, you just need to write your code once and it will perform consistently and reliably across the breadth of Windows powered devices. So now let's talk about what makes DirectML great for AI model training. First, DirectML for AI training works in WSL2 and Windows, so you can choose whichever environment works best for you. The video on the right is showing TensorFlow training in WSL2. You'll also find computational consistency through our close co-engineering relationships with AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA, resulting in truly portable training scripts and no compatibility issues with DirectML and new drivers. Performance improvements in DirectML itself will carry over to all the frameworks we invest in. Like you saw in the Windows AI platform diagram, DirectML is a backend for Onyx Runtime, TensorFlow, and PyTorch. Since the majority of our shaders are in the DirectML library and not baked into the framework, we can make optimizations across the board. The TensorFlow and PyTorch packages are small binary sizes, resulting in smaller applications for you. And there's a simple installation process like you'll see in just a minute. It's as easy as a pip install. The DirectML backend also takes care of memory allocation and execution queuing to accelerate performance. We decided to implement the DirectML backend with symmetry to other PyTorch and TensorFlow backends, so your scripts will require no or minor changes. I'll make sure to point out these modifications when we go through the tutorials in just a minute. Okay, now let's kick off the tutorial walkthrough for TensorFlow DirectML. 
we'll be going through a Vision Transformers tutorial today. The goal of this part of the tutorial is not to teach you how to implement a Vision Transformer in fine detail, but to show you how an existing script you might have or a familiar looking TensorFlow script is easily portable to use DirectML. To set some context, let's talk about first what is a Vision Transformer. It was introduced in the paper of image is worth 16 by 16 words, transformers for image recognition at scale. And it was the first work to have achieved excellent results on training a transformer encoder on ImageNet for image classification. The goal of a vision transformer is to split an image into equal size patches, like you see on the diagram with the images of the building, and feed these in as a sequence to learn and capture relationships between the patches for more performant image recognition. You can find the source code for this tutorial on the DirectML GitHub repository. There is a folder for TensorFlow where we have a few samples, including this Vision Transformers one. The list on the right shows the file contents of this tutorial, and I'll walk through the key components of constructing and training the model, and then we'll have a video demo at the end. So step zero, let's set up. Here it is. All you need to do to use TensorFlow DirectML is a pip install tensorflow-directml command into a Python environment of your choice on Windows or WSL. And that's it. Now it will work. For TensorFlow DirectML, there are no other code changes necessary. So the rest of these steps will likely be familiar. We're going to download the data and then everything here in the requirements text page. And then for best practices and results, we have some data augmentations to perform before training, so we'd run that data augmentations Python script. The first thing we do with vision transformers is extract those smaller equal size patches. On the left, you see we have the train script where highlighted we have a predefined patch size and stride. On the right in our model file on the highlighted line is where we flatten the patch into a single 48 dimensional vector as our input to our patch projection layer. The patch projection layer is defined here in the model file highlighted on line 58. The dense layer we define embeds each original flattened patch into the correctly sized embedding. In transformers, we need a way to encode the relative position in which the patch appears in the image. Adding this positional encoding in the model file highlighted on line 61 enables the patch embeddings to also represent positional information. Now the patch embeddings are fed into a series of transformer encoder blocks, which each contain a multi-head self-attention layer, or MHA. This is taken care of in the MHA Python script. The output of this script will produce the prediction vector. The final step is calculating the loss and gradient descent. This is in the train Python script, and let's start a video demo of this now. So the first thing I'm gonna do is create my Python environment. And activate it. Now I'm going to pip install TensorFlow DirectML as well as some other helpful libraries like sklearn and numpy that are required for the tutorial. Navigating to the right folder and I'm going to kick off the training. First you'll see it downloads the data and off it goes training in our first epic. Again, this script will work on AMD, Intel, and NVIDIA devices because we're using the hardware agnostic DirectML backend. So please try it out. You can find sample scripts on the DirectML GitHub and please file any issues or feedback that you might have. Now let's switch gears and walk through a PyTorch tutorial. For this tutorial, we'll use again one of our available samples on GitHub, which is SqueezeNet. 
Similar to the TensorFlow tutorial, the goal of this is not to teach you how to implement the fine details of a model, but we'll look at how to take a familiar script and the changes needed to incorporate DirectML. On the right, you'll see the scripts associated with the tutorial, and I'll go through the highlights. This time to set up, first we install Torch Vision, then we need to uninstall Torch so that we can install PyTorch DirectML. And that's it for setup. Now, when it comes to training the model, the key with using PyTorch DirectML is to specify the device as DML in all lowercase. This is where you would otherwise see CUDA or CPU, but here we specify DML on line 25 with that green box around it in the train script. Next, you can use the test script to make sure that the model trained as expected and then predict. And here is what that looks like all put together. I create my environment. And activate it. Now I pip install Torch Vision. And I want to uninstall the Torch so that I can reinstall PyTorch DirectML. Navigate to the right folder, install the requirements. Download the data. And we'll kick off the train script. And it's off and running in its first epic. For the last part of the video, I'll show you how to take either of those training scripts and inference them using DirectML. Let's go back to our diagram of the Windows AI platform. We went through both training entry points on the left, so let's focus on the right-hand side for the inferencing scenarios. Windows ML is our API for integrating Onyx machine learning models easily into your application. A quick note on Onyx. Microsoft and a community of partners created Onyx as an open standard for representing machine learning models. Models from many frameworks, including TensorFlow, PyTorch, Scikit-Learn, or Keras can be converted to the Onyx standard format. Once the models are in the Onyx format, they can run on a variety of platforms and devices. We'll talk more about this conversion in just a moment. Core to our ML inferencing technology is the Onyx Runtime, another tool built by Microsoft using the Onyx standard. The Onyx Runtime gives developers an inference engine with highly optimized CPU performance and is designed to work in a cross-platform neutral way. Windows ML works on top of the Onyx Runtime to leverage the full compute power of your Windows device to get maximum performance. That's where we have DirectML as our optimized GPU path for hardware acceleration. The first step to inferencing a model with Windows ML is converting to Onyx. PyTorch actually has a built-in function to convert to Onyx. We have this in our samples and it is in the PyTorch documentation as well. And for TensorFlow, we recommend using Onyx ML tools. This is a tool that enables you to convert models from a variety of different machine learning frameworks like TensorFlow or Scikit-Learn, Keras, etc. You can pip install Onyx ML tools and find additional documentation on the Onyx repo. After you convert your model to Onyx, you just have to call into the Windows ML APIs. We have a variety of samples on the Windows ML GitHub including the sample you see on the screen, which shows you how to take an image classification model like the ones we just trained and convert it into a simple classification app. You can find all the information you need on our docs, which you can find at aka.ms slash windows AI. 
To create an app with Windows ML, there are four main calls into the APIs. First, you define a learning model object, which loads your model into memory and starts a session. Then you bind the model inputs to the hardware, so you define either the CPU or the GPU, which will use DirectML. Then you call the evaluate of that model, and it runs the inference. Last, you extract the model outputs and make the outputs useful. Like this image classification model, we had to map to the correct labels, and then we displayed the result. Like I mentioned, we have a variety of inferencing samples up from image classification to object detection to tabular data analysis, so I encourage you to check it out. Along with Onyx converter tools, we also have a WinML runner tool, which is a standalone command line tool, making it easy to test loading, binding, and evaluating your model. This is great when iterating on trained models or testing out various hardware configurations. You don't have to build an app to call into the APIs to see if your Onyx model will work with Windows ML and DirectML. You can just use this command line tool. You can download WinML Runner on the Windows Machine Learning GitHub. I'm going to start with just a basic call into WinML Runner with my model that I have called Image Classifier. And this is what a successful run looks like. You can see it ran on CPU and GPU successfully. Now I'm gonna add a perf tag to get performance numbers like evaluation time and memory used. You can also try out some different GPU configurations we have like high performance or GPU min power to see which configuration might work best for you. And that's it. That's how you take your trained model and evaluate it with Windows ML and DirectML. And that covers the main content of today's video. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of the advantages of a direct ML backend for AI training and how to get started training your own models. We would love to hear from and stay connected with you. So please take advantage of our GitHub repositories to give us feedback from any issues you have, your experience using direct ML and the kinds of models you're working on. Specifically, the link to the DirectML repo has the training scripts and the Windows Machine Learning repo has the inferencing scripts. Also, please subscribe to our blog at aka.ms slash winaiblog. We are active there and you'll stay up to date on the latest features. We have additional technical documentation about the entire Windows AI platform at aka.ms slash Windows AI. And finally, you can get started today. You'll find both TensorFlow DirectML and PyTorch DirectML on pypy.org. Thank you and goodbye.